Hallo und herzlich willkommen zum Kurztutorial. Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial on know-how protection in the Synamics Drive system. Know-how protection serves to protect the intellectual property contained in the parameterization of a drive. In other words, the know-how of the machine manufacturer, your know-how. Know-how protection is a feature of the drive unit itself. As such, it can be activated only with an established online connection between the starter and the drive unit. In this brief tutorial, I will show you how to activate know-how protection, how you can deactivate it and how it is represented in the starter. Know-how protection affects all the device interfaces, which can be used to change parameters. In other words, via the starter, via an operator panel or via a web server. First, we need to establish an online connection. Once we are online, we move the cursor to the drive unit, mark it, then right-click to access the context menu. Here we can select the drive know-how protection entry. Simply click the activate button to activate know-how protection on the device. There are two levels of know-how protection. The first option is know-how protection without additional copy protection. With the second option, the serial numbers of the control unit and the memory card are included. This means that this project can then be used exclusively on the destination hardware that you have specifically defined. If I activate know-how protection without copy protection, the project is protected. It is like a black box. You cannot look into it, but it can be used on any destination hardware. Here we are using the entry know-how protection without copy protection. After clicking OK, know-how protection is activated in the drive. If we now attempt to view the settings in the starter, we can see that the graphical configuration screens are completely blocked. This status is indicated by a lock symbol and by the corresponding message know-how protection has been activated in this drive. If we change to an expert list, we will see that many parameters remain visible. These are all parameters which display measured values. They are all read-only parameters and do not contain machine manufacturer know-how as such. If I change the filter settings on the expert list to all, the setting parameters also become visible. It is clearly indicated that these parameters are know-how protected and cannot be viewed or modified. You can deactivate know-how protection just as quickly as you activated it. Once again, we open the context menu on the drive unit, go to the device know-how protection entry and then say deactivate. You can choose between two options for deactivation. You can select either temporary deactivation, for example for the current work session, or you can permanently deactivate know-how protection. With permanent deactivation, this step permanently deletes the key, in other words, the passwords. I enter the password and confirm with OK. Looking to the expert list, we can see that all setting parameters are now visible again. All parameters can be modified in the usual manner. Know-how protection provides us with a black box in which the settings are safely protected. If you want certain parameters to remain visible for the end user, for example, to provide adaption of the machine to different products, you will have the opportunity to declare these specific parameters in an exception list. In the exception list, 
you can write all of the parameter numbers you wish to remain visible for the end customer on the destination system when know-how protection is activated. This function allows you to clearly restrict the amount of know-how protection you need.